I'm drawing Drifter. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what inspired me to come up with who? Shinzu. Shinzu? Yeah, Is that a dog? <laughs> oh, Sun Tzu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was for a video game. Yeah. They asked me to create something for them. Was that based on anything? Uh. No, no. <laughs> Sometimes there's a story. That one was just, they needed a villain. Uh, they didn't want to do Joker again. They uh, wanted to do something kind of based on uh, some suit, the art of war. Yeah. And uh, so the first thing I thought of was a gold shellac guy in a red revolutionary war jacket. I don't know. What about Drifter? Drifter, uh, the name Drifter, there's a movie called Drifters. Yes. So I thought it'd be super original. No, Drifter. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good movie. A Drifter is like a, uh, a con man. Uh, so I like the idea of an anti hero, a guy that kind of maybe lived his, his life on the fringe. Yeah. So is it kind of like, you feel like a combination between a little bit of a Western hero and a. Yeah, I think the roots are in, 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 in Western mythology, or American Western mythology. The masked man, right? Yeah. The, uh, the handkerchiefs that people prepare around their necks. Bandanas. 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 Yeah, English is my second language. I did learn it. Rosetta Stone. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm still studying. So. The subjective case, very tricky. If I were to give this. Can you read your own work and enjoy it without being critical? Uh, I can be critical and enjoy it because I, when I look at my work, I see the circumstances of which I was drawing that particular page, like where I drew it, um, maybe what I had for dinner that night, or you know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's usually a story behind every page. Um, maybe like a figure or a hand that really I struggled with and had to draw like four or five times before I got it right. Uh, there are pages I've drawn on the, on the floors of uh, train stations uh, in uh, Italy when it was super cold out um, and I was waiting for the FedEx office to open when I was living over there and I was trying to get a page done before I took the train and uh, the bus, sorry, to the, uh, to the FedEx station. This is back when FedEx wasn't so ubiquitous. They, their offices were on the outside of town. Um, yeah, so. And then there are pages I look at and go, I mean, I don't remember drawing that page. <laughs> uh, doesn't happen on me. What happened to my brush? Who is your favorite to draw? My favorite to draw. Oh, here it is. My favorite to draw. It, it, I don't have one particular character. I, I have, I, I know there are certain characters that are favorites for people, so I kind of tend to draw them, but uh, if you draw the same thing over and over again, you get, you get really sick of it. Um, so it's nice to to mix it up a bit. Um, that one I have, uh, Spider-Man, I'll say that just because Stan's not here. If you were here, I, <laughs> I don't like drawing Spider-Man because it's, it's basically a, a circle and there's not much detail there. And uh, you have to draw that webbing, and that's Right. It's just uh, there's a certain there's a there's a pattern of how it goes, and I always forget that pattern. I screw it up. And you gotta just really be careful with it because it's all about the pattern. What was your favorite storyline? What was your least favorite? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's a question at once. What are my thoughts on digital comics and what? Uh, I draw, I draw, I draw on paper. I enjoy digital comics. What was your favorite story arc? My favorite story arc that I drew? Yes. I don't really have one particular. There are certain issues I, uh, like the first uh, X Men that I did with Chris as part of the regular run. The 
one with Captain America. Oh, Black Widow. Yeah, I love it. That was a lot of fun. And that was just that came out of a conversation Chris and I had on the phone. He said, What do you want to draw? And I said, Well, I'm gonna draw Black Widow, I'm gonna draw Captain America. I thought, you know, this would be kind of spread out over the course of the the run that we're gonna have on action. Put it all in one story, so that was gonna be kind of over too. It was cool. And yeah. as we as we were like, I'd say I would say about halfway through that story, we were both like, oh my gosh, like we should do this as a two parter. We should just like come up with another ending and then do a second half. And that editor was Bob Harris. Mm -hmm. uh, said, no. <laughs> he cheated you guys out of the second. Anyway, so this, uh, this is yeah. Yeah. Is the phrase, I'm the GD Batman. <laughs> that was uh. That was Frank Miller. <laughs> I would create the gosh darn Batman. What's the character hugs? Oh. Looking at pictures of mummies. Wait, wait, hold on one second. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just uh, what? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to teach you something with each sketch. And this one, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna show you how to draw a bullet hole. Uh, you, know, you just draw like a circle like that. And then the crack in the. Uh, And then, uh, so the bolt comes in and it creates an indentation. It's almost like the nipple of that. And so that creates yeah. a little bit of shadow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then that, that, this whole thing has uh, a shadow. Just like everything else I've been doing, right? So you do that once, and you can go, what the heck is that? You put another one. <laughs> So, um, 